Hey everyone! So, what was I gonna do? I don't remember what I was gonna do. Was I gonna, gonna burger bitch? Uh. Okay, only on's available. Oh, by the way, I, I forgot that uh, working at the at triple seven can raise your charm, so that could be useful. Um, and by the way, I'll need to like beeline my knowledge. Well, a bit anyway. Once I get the guts four, I'm pretty much okay. So not to worry about that any longer. I forget what you need guts five for. It's something, but. Oh, it's a max out Iwaii. But it's still not super important. For now. Um. I guess we'll go to Burger Bitch. Burger Bitch, Burger Bitch, Burger Bitch. Ba ba ba. We've seen this before. Yeah. It's a good thing I'm not. I didn't buy the adhesive, by the way, because I'm not gonna have. A source of money for a little bit. Thank you very much. Now then. Now we've already seen this before, so just gonna fast forward through it. Hmm. How much did it give us? Not enough. Ah, you're back. Didn't call her, can I give you her phone number? You gonna call her? Yeah. But first, crossword puzzle! I, know, I noticed this when I was fast forwarding, so. Yeah, we're gonna play crossword. Type of outdoor, outdoor allergies. Jeez, that's a long ass word. And we only get one hint? Sheesh! Well, I guess this, the only way this helps is if I get rid of some letters. Uh, so that's what I got to work with. See? Sign? You try to acknowledge justice. Yeah, yeah. A type of outdoor allergy. I don't think I'm going to figure this one out. Pollen? Is it pollen? Pollen what? Let's see what happens if I spell out pollen. I don't know what I'd spell with that pollen. Pollen Pollenosis? Really? That's a word? Okay. Yeah, I would have never figured that out. <coughs> I was on the right track, but there's pollenosis. This is an allergic reaction that triggers when pollen makes contact with membranes in the nose or eyes. It primarily causes sneezing, runny nose, and itchiness. These symptoms came to rise whenever English farmers harvested their pastures, le leading the nickname for pollenosis, hay fever, to become commonplace. All right. So it's just hay fever, okay.
Uh, well. Did I get... Uh... Yes, I did. I'm pretty sure I don't need to check on the plant, so... Everyone says I'm full of guts! Oh. And I forgot that I needed the guts for this, too, so... Well, think of calling in a maid? Well, if you use this, you won't leave proof in your call history. This is for all the good of the fam thieves, right? Of course! Hi! Me, this is Becky! Oh, wait, it's you. Well, it'll be 5,000 yen with the request to be included. You know, is that okay with you? Of course! I see. Very well. I'll head over right away then. So, this is your room, huh? Hmm. How do I put this? This is awkward. Uh, never mind. So, what kind of kid are you? The way you opposed Mr. Kamoshida, I'd say that you're earnest and have a strong sense of justice. That being said, you called a maid service and requested me? Uh-huh. <laughs> hang, hang on, hang on. I, I gotta look this up. Uh. <laughs> I don't have any friends. Uh, hang on. If it doesn't matter, then it doesn't matter. Uh, there she is. Making sure we get the right answers here. Oh, the only thing that matters is the, the follow-up. Okay. That was really lonely. I oh. see. Oh, that's right. You have a criminal record. Okay, then how about this? I'll let you skip class a few times. Nice. It's tough not having any place where you belong, isn't it? However, I reserve the right to change my mind if your grades drop. Oh shit. And in exchange, you won't tell anyone that I'm moonlighting as a maid. Sound good? I promise. Then it's a deal. I made a deal with Kawakami. We know about how clean you were keeping your room. Tell us who did it. Tell us, you bitch. To think you pulled off so many crimes while attending school. I can't believe you managed that by yourself. There had to be someone at the school helping you. What do you have to say to that? Um, fuck you? Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the temperance persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. Arguably the best uh, social link in the game, at least ability-wise. And it's got a great story, too. It allows you to perform various activities in Kawakami's class. This is super helpful. All right. It basically lets you like read a book during her some of her classes, or make uh, tools, or other what things. What are you doing here with one of my students? Well, I guess I should get going. Oh, please request me if you need any help with your housework. Okay? Uh, why? I mean, we know each other's secret, and it would really put my mind at ease. Besides, I'm, uh, I'm considered over the hill for this type of job, so I don't get requested that often. I'll show my appreciation by making it easy for you to ditch class. <laughs> Just think about it, okay? So wait, I, I gotta charge 5,000 bucks for you to come over and say hi? Master! Alright, Master, that'll be it for today. 
Uh, God, you have no idea how exhausting this job is. Listen, promise me you won't tell the school about this, okay? For both our sakes. Absolutely no talking about maid stuff to anyone. It'll be our little secret, just for Becky and Master, okay? Can you keep a secret? Oh my god, I don't like that face. Help. Yeah, I get it. Thank you so much! Oh my gosh, Master, thank you so much! You really don't have to call me that. I know some people are into that, but that just makes me feel awkward. Like, eh. I'll make sure to keep my promise, too. Well, I'm gonna head home. Oh, and don't forget to study for your exams, okay? If you waste all your time playing around, your grades will suffer. Bye. See you later. Neat. Ah, choo! Sorry. I couldn't hold it in. You have to make some kind of excuse for me. Now for today's train news. Today's headlines are: Employee post nude. Chef self new chef. <laughs> it's hard to say. New chef selfie. Wild duck burger cleans out of fire at the employee in question. Those close to the man voice their surprise, vouching for his seriousness at work. Is shipping out unsafe? Crime rising. The police are issuing warnings for people to be wary of scams. Hot spots of Tokyo. Tickets for the Madarame exhibit are available until June 5th. Mm. Madarame exhibit goes on until June 5th. That's the end of this week. We'll show him what a change of heart means. I like the old-timey voice. <clears throat> well, then. Pond's bad today, but it's blah, blah, blah. Eyes are watery. Uh, let's see. Man, some people really went to the last, wait till the last minute. Uh, nobody I really need to hang out with. Um, Ryuji. Pfft. F you, Ryuji. Um, I don't think the book's available yet. So, Burger Bitch. I guess we're going the Burger Bitch. Am I sure? E wait. Movie. Oh. Hmm. Uh, no. I thought this was supposed to be a new movie a month. Maybe it's just a, a new movie per uh, case or whatever. Whatever. Burger bitch it is. Okay, we. Take the challenge! The things I'll do for guts. Thanks. We're not going to play it because we don't have the proficiency. <laughs> Once we get another point of proficiency, we, uh, we can finish it. Still not Are enough. We need all this money for uh, uh, Becky, shall back. we say. I assume you're all curious, so I'm sending you an update, just in case. Madarame is still bedridden. He hasn't spoken a single word. My apologies for not being able to provide anything more solid. Come on, it's not your fault. Don't worry about it. It is June already, though. The exhibition will be ending soon. At least it doesn't seem like Madarame's had a mental shutdown. But there's no point if you don't have a change of heart and call off that legal action bullshit. Was this how it was when you defeated Kamashita? Uh, pretty much. Yeah, Kamashita was out of school for a while. Either way, there has been no palpable progress. It appears only the target themselves can tell whether or not their heart has changed. It's a goddamn pain in the ass, but yeah. We just gotta hear from Madarame himself uh, what the deal is. Yeah, there's nothing we can really do. Let's just try waiting a little longer. I'm not going to the damn laundromat. Mm -hmm. Gary, did you see the news about Wild Duck Burger? 
Stuff like that happening makes me not want to eat there, ever. There's just no excuse for it. Besides, that guy says he didn't doesn't remember doing it, right? He doesn't feel bad about it at all. Ba ba ba. Thank you, the curry was delicious. Well, wild duck burger stocks uh, plummets after an employee posted pictures of himself engaging in unsanitary practices. A scandal occurred just before our stockholder meeting, having dire effects on the fast food chain. After the man behind the scandal, he claims that he was fully nude at work before he realized it. Man. Why would anyone do that? Do you think he was being hilarious or something? I don't know, it seems kind of funny to me. Hey. How close are we? I mean, we're gonna call uh, Becky again anyway. No, uh, not even close. Where is he? Definitely close to improving my guts. But we're gonna get Kawakami whenever we can, so. I don't know if these nutrients like less, less, less or whatever. So, oh. gonna call Kawakami. Yep. Um. Oh, it's you. I work on Friday and Saturday evenings, so you should request me then. Okay, only Fridays and Saturdays. Hmm. If I end up working other than Friday or Saturday evenings, I'll contact you. Okay, see you. Okay, so Friday and Saturdays are the only sure days. Okay, right. Um, what's my charm? Um, Guts out of the way, but uh, I'm gonna go get. No, you know what? Hey, we need to make sure we're ready for um uh Sojiro when uh yeah. Wait, just a second. Let's do it. Make sure that this works on uh, on days when he's not ready to talk. Hey. Well then. Oh. There you go, Chief. something I bet you do why did mr. Kamashita change all of a sudden he grew a conscience is that your hypothesis it's uh -huh. still too sudden I believe it's only natural to think that something must have caused it well that's fine thanks for your valuable opinion I'll take it into account yeah you go do that I mean, how would you explain it otherwise? Unless there's extra dimensional bullshit, which there was, but I mean, you know, she don't know that. The forum request. Do you remember that request from the forum? We still have not resolved it. So we're waiting around as a waste of time. I already talked to you about this. I'm a Mentos, you know, that side later. Blackboard you use for class, right? Why don't you try drawing the fan of these logo? I bet it would look really cool. I got this. Yes. That's the spirit. What's this thing? Probably some kind of prank by those fan or whatever. I How did you not see me? I was up whatever. Did he draw this? Who's he trying to impress? 
Oh. Wait, does he seriously think they exist? That's kind of embarrassing. Man. He's just treating this like some kind of joke. Nobody believes in our existence. This is a good way to tell them how popular we are. You should try drawing it again some other time. But for now, let's erase it. It's a cool logo. Oh, man. Wait, is this supposed to be the Fampties logo? It looks kind of dumb. Ah, that's not bad. It's whatever. It's a thing. Uh... Uh, nobody's available today. Man, some people wait a really long time. Yeah, let's, uh, let's go to, wait, what day is it? Thursday. We're going to Burger Bitch. Burger bitch, burger bitch, burger bitch. I'm losing all my monies. Once again, we will not complete it. <laughs> God damn, seriously? Wanna head back? Uh, are you finally ready? Uh, TV. When talking about juvenile crime, you often hear about probation for reforming re repentant, uh, repentant uh, offenders. Now, when it comes to probation... Oh, it's a game show. Uh, a, overseas travel is prohibited. B, probation officers are unpaid. Um, which one of these statements is true? You be the judge. Overseas travel is prohibited. <laughs> Correct answer is B. Probation. Wait, did this say incorrect or correct? Did I read that wrong? I think I read that wrong. Do I see an answer? Probation officers are civil volunteers. They're only paid the necessary amount when providing a report. Wait, really? Wait, people on probation can go overseas? Really? Since probation is intended to encourage rehabilitation, overseas travel is not prohibited. Huh. I'm pretty sure that's prohibited over here. Maybe not in Japan. That's weird. Okay. I'm pretty sure our probation officers get paid. Do they? Somebody look that up. So look and see if uh, if U.S. probation officers get paid. I'm really curious. Oh, you got it wrong? Then again, it's good that you can go outside the country if you wanted. That's weird. You got time right now? So it's not left on the clock today. Coming closer. Are you serious? Still no? Fuck! Next time, then. This is boosting up his thing, right? I'm in a whole world of weird. Hello there. Time to clean up. Well then. Oh. Ah, oh, not too bad. How about yourself? Sorry. If I was a sucker kiss, I'd help you out. Hey, I'm serious. 
That should do it for now. All right, all clean. I bet the chief is going to be happy with this. Hey. I still can't believe that question. That's got to be a Japanese thing. Hey. Why don't you read something until we get there? Uh, you know what? I'm going to... Well, first I'm going to read this. Uh, it turns out this does nothing for us since we've already explored everything. The book talks about Young and Jaya, right? You already know about that area, don't you? It seems kind of pointless to read that now. All right. Okay, so we've read, read that. We'll read vague, because why not? We're, we're trying to save the rest of these for um, speed reading. If we can. Takenoko girls are are springing up like bamboo shoots. There are more of them every day. They are hourly. Okay, so it's the complete opposite over here, then. If you're feeling ambitious, see if U.S. the people on U.S. probation can leave the country. I'm pretty sure they can't. Over uh, over in uh, Harajuku, huh? You can learn about cutting-edge fashions there, but I'd say what's on the inside is more important. Still, this place looks fun. Almost like a theme park. Taking someone there might be a pretty good idea. Oh. So you finished reading Vague. Harajuku seems to have a lot of cool shops. Takenoko Street also seems pretty interesting. Harajuku, fashion capital, blah blah blah. All right. You can invite people to Takenoko Street. You should invite someone to go sometime. I can't imagine you as the fashionable type, though. What's that station? See, even if even if I wasn't sure about the pro uh, being able to go overseas thing, there's no way I would have believed that that pro that probation okay, officers don't get paid. <clears throat> All right, everyone, quiet down. I'm changing my lesson for today. Instead of a regular class. We'll be reviewing last week's materials. I suggest you li listen carefully. But don't think you can slack off, okay? Absolutely won't allow it. No slacking off. Hmm. She's hmm. Nudge, nudge, nudging you. Weird. She's going totally against the curriculum. All that stuff about slacking off was a little odd, too. Wait a second. Is this what she meant by ditch class? I would have thought she'd let you leave the room or something. But I guess you can't really complain. With Ka Kawakami's help, you will be able to slack off in class on certain days. Use this free time to do various things such as reading or crafting infiltration tools. We're going to be making tools. However, you'll gain knowledge by choosing to study instead. Please keep this trade-off in mind. Hmm. Kawakami's been ki kind enough to give us this free time, so we better put it to good use. What do you want to do? Sleep. Uh, we're going to make tools. Do we still get pro proficiency while doing this, in, for doing this in class? That said, you only have so much time. You won't be as efficient as you normally are, but nothing you can do about that. Yeah. Gonna make two lockpicks, sure. Hey. You should stop soon. It'll be a hassle if people find out. Hmm. Yeah, only one point of proficiency. Yeah, still, it's, it's something. Hmm. Ah, that was great. We should thank Kawakami for this later. I'd kind of like to get proficiency up to three just to finish the next challenge. Okay, um... Set the con Man, people really are waiting till the last day. Because they still they'll steal the treasure tomorrow. People's average level, 23. I'm lower than that. Give me uh only Ryuji's available. Yeah, nobody should be really available, I guess. So we're going to Burger Bitch. I mean I can go to um Why? I mean, I know I can go to Kemi, but... 
Why is it showing only Ryuji as available? On should be down here, right? Uh, whatever, burger bitch. We need the guts. Uh, bah, 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 bah. Like? No! This is so expensive. Thank you very All because I'm trying to raise my stupid guts. So I can go hang out with shady people. Yep. Finally! Jeebus! All right. Head back? Now we're dauntless. We can go hang out with Hawaii. Ah, you're back. Ah, it's Friday night too. Are you ready? You got time right now? Are you serious? Next time. I know he takes forever, but goddamn. Woo! Hey, hey! Crossword. Nihonga. Uh, Japanese, right? Okay. So we've got that figured out. Easy peasy. Let's figure out the rest of these for fun. Japanese floral art. Okay. No? Wait, am I spelling it wrong? I think I spelled it wrong. Well, let's go back to that one. Uh, sushi wrapper. Um, I actually don't know what it's called. Kimono Sash. Uh, I do know that one. That's an Obi. Well, that's supposed to be an N. It's a... It's a is it a Nori? Or is it Nari? Whatever, it doesn't matter. Japanese floral art. I don't know. But that's okay. We don't need it. The answer is Japanese. In contrast to imported Western art styles, paintings produced post-1900 using techniques developed within Japan are referred to as Nihonga. Foreigners visiting Japan during this, the Meiji period called this Japanese painting, which the literal Japanese translate as Nihon and Ga. Ga for right, artwork. I see. Nice. That one was easy. Uh, well, Kawakami comes first. Like, Sojiro, we have plenty of time for. His abilities aren't that useful, but we we want just mostly want him for the story. Oh god, I even got a texture mark. Hello, Master. It's Becky, your provider of comfort. I need to ask you, can you request me? The request is five thousand yen, but I promise I'll do a good job. We can become closer. We'll grow stronger soon. You accept the Comic Con's deal. Be sure to accept her invitation until you gain her trust, okay? I request her. What? Really? You request me? Okay, I'll be sure to make your room absolutely spotless today. Be there soon. Sweet. Um, hey, Sojiro, don't mind me. I invited a maid. <coughs> I love cleaning shabby, I mean, sophisticated rooms like this. It gives me a sense of accomplishment. If it's for you, Master, I'll happily be covered in dust. But then, doesn't it pain your heart to see such a cute maid all dirty? Um, uh, yeah, no. 
It, it does, it does. I'll tell you <laughs> These answers suck. So I'll just say it does. Aw, oh, Master, even though your room is messy, your heart is so clean. Don't you feel weird doing this? I'll go ahead and get this over with, then. And by the way, on my, on my list of, like, what is it? Is it nine? Well, I guess it's ten now. Waifu's in this game. She's number two for me. Like, I, I, I think she's, like, awesome. Her story is great. Her abilities are great. Uh... Arguably best social link. Like, the only one I'd say is better in both categories is the navigator you eventually get. I like their story better, and they're number one on my list. This, this is my brother's number one. And that's a good choice. It's a good choice. I'll go ahead and get this over with then. This will do, right? Keeping it a little messy for that shabby chic feel, you know? And now cleaning is complete. Thunk. Ugh. I'm exhausted. I'm not allowed to work overtime during weekdays, so I rush to my part-time job after class ends. On my off days, I have to prepare pop quizzes and homework assignments. And today I had to clean bathtubs and walk dogs before coming here. There's no time to rest. Oh, speaking of pets, this room smells like a cat. I feel a lot of strays around my house. I was surprised that you requested me. I didn't think you actually would. You weren't expecting to do anything weird with me, were you? I mean... <laughs> Absolutely not! Absolutely not! My good lady! As long as you understand... I know I'm in a maid outfit, but I'm still your teacher, so don't get any funny ideas. Besides, I try to not get too involved with my students, so... <sighs> I need a nap. Sorry, just give me five minutes. Maybe ten. And before you know it, time's up. Thank you very much. Oh, hey, do you know of any part-time jobs that pay well? I assume you make a lot, since you can afford a maid service. Well, let me know if you do. Uh, you need money? Well, uh... You know... It's for my little sister. She's sick, so I need money to pay her medical expenses. Hello? Yes, I made the transfer. What? Not enough, but it was the same amount as last week. I... No. Yes, I understand. Okay, goodbye. Uh... Oh, wrong number. Hey, sorry to ask you this out of the blue, but... Do you happen to have 100,000 yen I could borrow? Um... Wait, never mind. Owing one of my students' money would be the worst. Hey, you have some money, but be mindful of how you spend it. You shouldn't be wasting on services like this. Uh... This is all for you? Let's see. No, it, it, it didn't. doesn't matter. Uh, this is all for you. It doesn't matter. I need the money, so I do appreciate you requesting me. However, you're my student, so if we were to get involved further, things would get complicated. I did warn you. The rest is your responsibility. You're a high schooler, after all. I can sense Kawakami's trust in me. Right. Yes. You can earn more XP, blah, blah, blah. Uh. <sighs> Three more to go. Well, I'll see you later, Master. Okay. Oh. Oh, is this Master? Thank you for using our service today. I really want to do a lot more cleaning for you. Is that okay, Master? Is this the hard cell? What? 
No, I just wanted to hear your voice, Master. No, you, you've got the idea. Still gotta hit my quotas for the week. Please don't make that face. I don't like it. Uh, sorry, part of the job. Um, you, you can ixnay that part. Okay, this is driving me insane, so I'm just gonna drop the sales talk. Crap, my major's coming. Um, well, I hope you'll request me again sometime. Bye-bye. We're getting started. Oh, boy. It's been getting humid lately, huh? But it sounds like these when you've got just got pushed through the funk. Don't let the weather get to you. Well, that was the plan, anyway. Then I got police officers asking what I was up to. <laughs> Do I really look that, look that suspicious? I mean... Ah, yes. Oh, but speaking of looks, have any of you, have you seen someone you thought was cute and immediately decided they must be nice to? That thought process is totally normal, if not always accurate. There's even a name for it. How about you? Any guesses, Corso Kun? What do you think the name for this phenomenon is? I'm gonna guess the Halo effect. I know it's not the Pygmalion effect, because I did that when I was doing my fast forward. I'm go I'm almost positive it's the Halo effect. You see a Halo over someone, you assume they're good. That makes sense. Boy, go away, ads. Yeah, that was easy. This is it. Right. Correct. I'm surprised you knew. You get distracted by superficial qualities, and your broader perception of someone can get biased. Once you get that far, it's hard to make totally objective judgments. Like, that person's quiet, so they must be scary. Stuff like that. You actually knew that? Blah, 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 blah. Nice going. I am super smart. I am smarty enough to play D&D. The Halo effect isn't all bad, but I recommend you give people the chance to define themselves instead of making snap judgments. After all, it'd be a shame if your biases kept you from noticing something truly wonderful about someone, right? Plenty of terrible people look perfectly decent on the outside, but Lady Anna looks perfect, and she is perfect. Oh my god, I'm gonna throw, throw you at her. Thirsty little cat. <sighs> Rain. Boy, it sucks being stuck inside this bag. I wish I could take Lady, Lady Anna out to do something. Mm. It's raining. Whether we've ever read that. Uh, well, I was gonna hang out with Hawaii, but rainy day. And studying is free. Do you have a book what yet? Like? No. I'll try I'll try back after the events to come. Mm -hmm. Well not quite pretty you know, say how many people here today make because of the weather, it means to be able to focus on studying. Hey. Let's do it. Oh. It's so quiet. You shouldn't have any trouble focusing here, blah blah blah. We've done this before. Three free knowledge, we can't pass that up. <clears throat> ah, you're back. The exhibition ends tomorrow. Madarami must have ha uh, had his change of heart by now, right? I'm sure it'll be fine. So far, nobody's come charging us with anything, yeah? But wouldn't he wait to press charges until after the exhibition? <laughs> is it really supposed to be... I mean, exhibit is just short for exhibition, but... Who calls it an, an exhibition? It should... People are always going to call it an exhibit. Whatever. Nitpicking. Even though I'm probably wrong. What should we do if someone contacts us about it tomorrow? Try asking Yusuke. He's still staying with Madarame, right? Oh, that's right. Where is Yusuke? I wonder if he'll be okay with Madarame. Sorry I'm late to contact you all. 
It seems something will certainly be happening tomorrow. Madarame is on the phone as we speak. What do you mean, something? I believe he's preparing for a media announcement. I didn't hear anything about pressing charges. Guess we just gotta wait then. Let's meet Shibuya tomorrow. Okay, see you then. The exhibition is finally ending tomorrow. I'm sure things will work out fine this time too. Oh. Calories for you, Master. Er? Oh yeah, that's right. Um Feather Featherhawk has regained his lost memories, but now a new villain has revealed himself. The earth shattering appearance of a new leader. Revive and fight Phoenix Rangers. Next episode, his name is Feather Red. I wonder if Yukari is still playing Feather Pink at this point. Uh, sorry, Sojiro, but, um... I need this. Hi. This is Becky. Oh, wait, it's you. Have you been studying? Don't start slacking off just because you're done with exams, okay? Um, Master, are you hungry at all? Now we're offering special services like maids cooking and together with a maid. What? With the request fee included, it'll only cost you 5,000 yen. It's practically a steal. Okay, we come closer. We'll come we'll grow stronger soon. Call Kakami over. Yes. Boy. She is breaking me. What? Seriously? I mean, thank you for requesting me. Then please wait for me, Master. I hope you have a big appetite. Master. Well, did you enjoy the maid's cooking and together with the maid services I provided today? The high-end cup noodles really do make a difference, don't they? <laughs> She just made cup noodles. <laughs> Dude, it's a real cook. Can I have a different maid? <laughs> Bob, my brother is flipping a table right now at the thought. Uh, uh, give me a sec. I'm pretty sure it's... Yeah, they do. Oh, you can say do some real cooking. Oh, uh, okay, it's the same points either way, so let's do it. What? I can cast a magic spell that makes it extra delicious. Um, or would you prefer the homemade cooking next time? <laughs> yeah. Although that would be an additional cost. I make the best egg rice with soy sauce. Don't worry, Christine, if you're going to complain. <laughs> Besides, I thought I warned you already. Why would you request me again? <laughs> Slack off in class. Uh, didn't, didn't, I wanted to see you. Hmm. Are you sure that's really the reason? It doesn't matter what you answer on that one. Well, I guess I'm in no position to complain, since I'm making money from it. Uh. I'm so tired. We had a faculty meeting today, ju uh, uh, meeting just the other day. What did they had? Why did they have to last so long? Jeez. Thanks to the fam thieves, the students have been really restless lately. The teachers can't agree on what to do about them or the fam thieves. I wish I talked more about our bonus instead. I heard they might even cut the teachers' salaries. I'm so sick of it. Of course they'd cut teachers' pay. Why wouldn't they? Uh, this answer isn't in here. I guess it doesn't matter. I'll request you more often. Oh, no, it's right there. I'm blind. But yeah, I mean, that seemed like the obvious choice anyway. Really? I'll continue to serve you with all my might, Master. <sighs> I'm going to be in trouble... I'm going to be in trouble if I don't pick up more shifts. Arr. Hello! What? What? 
how much? I can't... Yes, but... that That's true. Sure. Yes. Yeah, yes, I understand. Yes, it's my responsibility, after all. Oh, did you hear that? <laughs> yeah, I'm a little behind on my sister's medical bills. Doesn't matter. Don't ever do it. Uh, apparently it's some crazy incurable disease, so there's a lot of fees and extra charges. That's why it would really help if you requested me more. Oh, never mind. You're my student. I can't keep relying on you. Uh, what am I going to do? Anyway, it's time for me to go. Hey, feel free to call me to do housework. It doesn't have to be through the maid service. I live close by, so I can stop over whenever you need me. Besides, I'm worried that you can't cook or do laundry because you don't have any your, your parents. Oh, and if your friends suddenly come over, I can always leave out the back way. What are you going to do? Go out the window into the alley? I feel Kamakami's com kindness. Housekeeping allows you to request Kamakami to, to brew coffee or do laundry for you. Now she's becoming more uh, helpful. Even on nights when you can't hang out with her, you can call her to do stuff. And later you can get her to make curry, which is helpful. You can now hire Kyle Connolly to help out at home by brewing coffee or doing laundry. She will help you save time. Uh. This isn't how it was supposed to go. In any case, I need to talk to my boss about giving me some more shifts. I need to get requested more. Good night. So I'm pretty sure all the follow-ups are new to give you more chances to do things other than just spend time, which does nothing. Okay. Oh, is this Master? Thank you for using our service today. Wasn't my meal so delicious? Could you taste all the love I put into it? <clears throat> but you can't just eat cup noodles, right? You need balanced nutrients. Maybe next time you could try some of my homemade cooking instead. Seriously, though, you're still young, so you need to eat properly. Thanks. You can thank me once you start making actual improvements. I mean, you're so very welcome. Um, I know this is kind of silly, but you really need to eat healthy, okay? I mean, considering how much you spend on requesting me, you can probably afford some good food. Mm. Well, I hope you'll request me again sometime. Bye-bye! She really does care about her students. Like, it, it, like she seemed like uh, early on, but there's a reason why she doesn't really want to deal with troublesome students. It's, it's not just the most obvious thing. You would think, like, oh, well, who wants to mess with somebody troublesome? <clears throat> her social link is great. Cool, now I don't have to talk for a bit. What's up with that old geezer? <gasps> Is he crying? I... I have committed crimes that are unbecoming of an artist. Plainly put, I... Uh, plagiarized work. I... I tainted this... This country's art world and... and even Sayuri... How could I... I Whoa, that portrait. Holy shit. To everyone for, for what I've done. <laughs> <laughs> He's crying way too much. <laughs> <laughs> and that was from the urgent apology conference by Matarame that took place just a moment ago. After reporting to the association, Matarame has agreed to the police's request to turn himself in. Wasn't he on TV the other day? On top of charges of abuse to his pupils, Matarame is under suspicion of claiming their works as his own. Some doubt the validity that his maiden work, Sayuri, was stolen, believing it was used for fraud. This large-scale criminal act has caused a great shock to the art world, and... 
That old man's done for. After the conference, Matarame was taken to a police hospital for interrogation due to his age. However, initial psych evaluations state that he is mentally sound and likely responsible for his actions. There's no need to be nice to an old geezer like that. Why'd he spill the beans himself? Doesn't that seem weird? Also, a group calling themselves the Phantom Thieves posted a dubious note at Matarame's exhibit. Now, it's not totally unheard of for somebody to just grow a conscience, right? Sometimes, as someone with a guilty conscience myself, uh, guilt can really bear down on yourself, whether you want to call it your, your soul or whatever. Um, <clears throat> it, it's a really heavy burden. And eventually for some people, they accrue so much of it that they just can't handle it anymore. Um, it's not always an, uh, an altogether altruistic thing to admit to what you've done. That's not quite the right word, but whatever. Uh, more often than not, it's probably attributed to being just selfish, just to get a burden off your shoulders. But an admission of guilt is an admission of guilt. Just saying. Investigate their relation to this case, but for now, did not identify them as suspects. Phantom thieves? Do these bandits have something to do with that old geezer's apology? Oh, I've heard of them before. They supposedly steal evil hearts. It's why the culprits apologize. Wait, what? Steal hearts? <laughs> That's impossible, though. But I feel like I saw something about that online, too. They sent out a calling card for real. Oh, so it was like, we're going to take your heart? Oh, that's impressive if someone really did that. Phantom thieves, huh? Uh-huh. Phantom thieves again. Strike again! Hey, there's that one dude. Do you guys see the news about Madarame? It's just like what happened with Kamoshida. And they mentioned the phantom thieves! Man, this is starting to get interesting. If we do it right, we can change people's hearts. Will you people end, shut we up? be able to do more than just getting back at society. It'll be a big deal. You guys are the worst at trying to be subtle. We're in a very crowded place right now. You're going, whoa, where are the fam thieves, guys? Oh. I don't know. Man, you're so indifferent. Yeah. Then again, doesn't that make him more trustworthy as our leader? As for me, I hope we just keep getting more and more famous. Something like this happening twice is massive, too. It's too great a coincidence to occur normally. If we continue doing this, we'll definitely be able to give courage to everyone who needs it. See? You may want to quiet down a little. Yeah, seriously. Shut up. Do you know that? You moron! Those are attendance officers! Hello there. May I speak with you for a moment? Attendance officers? We're just going ah, to school. Yes! How can we help you? That monotonous acting of hers never fails to send a chill down my spine. What are you all doing here? Are you friends? <laughs> We're delinquents. Hmm? What did you say? I said we're delinquents. Uh, uh, <laughs> that, that was a joke. <laughs> he, he didn't get much sleep last night. Nobody's gonna take anybody seriously that says they're delinquents. They're just gonna go. They're just gonna think you're being a smart ass. Well, all right. Just make sure you disperse before it gets too late, okay? Disperse for we're just kids <laughs> hanging out. There have been some odd happenings lately. The news about that artist has caused quite the stir. We'll be careful. It's weird. It's still light out. Man, those guys must have way too much time on their hands. Hey, don't go making stuff up on the spot like that, okay? I totally panicked because of you. But we are delinquents. From now on, we'll need to be even more cautious than before. Look at us. Right after the second thieves incident, both prior victims are meeting up. Wait, you mean people might be listening to us? No shit. That'll be fine. Look around, we're the only people worrying about it. 
I guess you're right. By the way, Yusuke, you able to get anything out of Madarame? Remember how he was talking about that suspicious person in the black mask? Well, I pressed him for answers, but he doesn't even understand what happened to him to begin with. They still don't understand it's how this not works. Like he actually saw his desires get stolen after all. Uh huh. It's rumored that he may be sent to prison. In that case, gaining information will be difficult. So, what are you gonna do now? I'll be leaving that house. I can't draw on such a place anymore. Do you have somewhere to go? The school dorms. I can stay there free of charge thanks to my fine art scholarship. Nice. A scholarship? Wait, you're that good? Although, Takamaki-san's house would do as well. <laughs> Wait, what? You know, you could ask her to model for you whenever you wanted. You moron! Then again, now that Yusuke will be living alone, it'll be easier for us to meet up whenever we want. For the time being, we should wait and see how this case plays out. <sighs> and it'll probably take some time finding a target as big as Madarame. Anyway, we should just act like normal students while we look for our next target, okay? Yep. We'll be entrusting that to you again, Ryuji. All right. Guess it's just more prep till then. Bye. Yusuke Kitagawa. Hmm? I have a stalker. I always wanted one of those. Makes you feel important. So after Shiho Suzui, you did it again for someone you barely knew? You were sent away twice, almost reported to the police, and yet you still wanted to save him. Moreover, you ended up in a museum instead of a castle this time. You're still going to maintain this rubbish about changing someone's heart by stealing their treasure? <coughs> Is the truth? Very well. The truth behind this tale of yours will be clear once your conspirators are in custody. Yeah, that ain't happened. Tell me about this new member who joined your group. There's no point in being stubborn. It will only damage your position. The identity of Madarame's pupil can be easily discovered with a little investigation. Go right ahead. So you won't sell out your accomplice? No. Fine. There's still much more that I want to hear. It was around this time that the Phantom Thieves began to truly gain popularity. Lies flooded the internet. Things like the Phantom Thieves saved me too, or I got a calling card. For heaven's sake, those lies made the collection of intel take almost ten times longer. Now your next target was this man, Junya Kaneshiro. Look at that boy. He doesn't compare to the previous two. Even the police had been struggling to apprehend him. So, exactly how did you take down such a well-guarded criminal? Tell me. This guy is uh, an out-in-the-open criminal. It's just they can't make charges stick. The story of the story up to this point has been updated. Press triangle, blah, blah, blah. The suspect has repeatedly testified that he does not have any recollection of his actions. Just a, a full psychiatric evaluation will be performed to further investigate the crime's details and motives. First, Kamoshida at Shujin Academy, and now Madarame. I found a number of points of commonality between the two. Both, for example, were sent a calling card before their unforeseen changes of heart. I see. But isn't tying their cases to the series of psychotic breakdowns jumping to conclusions? I mean... The police will frown upon you stepping into this. Now isn't the time to be worrying about things like jurisdiction and honor. We need to dig deeper and find a correlation among the incidents these past two, three years. That really looks like a assigned toilet seat back there. That's a doodled on. <sighs> Very well, I leave it to you. However, you must not let this interfere with your regular duties. Thank you, sir. Damn woman just had to stick her nose into this. 
And I understand that these abnormal incidents have caused some anxiety throughout our country. This situation must be approached with the utmost seriousness. You. I shall continue to put forth great effort so that every citizen can live with peace of mind. Not only are there these phantom thieves to worry about, but if that is exposed... <sighs> What you want about? Oh. Oh. Looks like you guys texting me. I think you're getting them too. You have my gratitude. Why are you so polite for all of a sudden? I truly am thankful to you for making me come to my senses. Uh, you're exaggerating. I most certainly am not. I must express my gratitude earnestly. You're one of us now, man. We'll be counting on you, okay? Of course. And if anything comes up, we won't hesitate to lend a hand. Thank you. Well then, see you. <laughs> <coughs> you didn't have to go through all that trouble just to thank us. He's such an honest guy. Anyways, that went well for our first job, huh? It was a huge success. So, that said, you got time after this? Uh, for what? You know... Well, the thing is, I got some free tickets to a darts lounge from this guy I know. But I totally forgot that they expired today. So, you want to go right now? <sighs> Ryuji, didn't we just finish talking about how we need to be on guard? Come on, it's just darts. Don't you want to play too, Morgana? I mean, if you can actually throw anything. Mm. If you're just going to play, then I guess it shouldn't be a problem. Alright then, let's head to the darts lounge or whatever it is. Lead the way, Ryuji. Hell yeah, I'm on it. Alright, the place is Ki uh, Kichi Joji, so we gotta take the train first. I've never been there. Oh. What, for real? There's a bunch of different shops right outside the station let's there. Which is one stop away from Shibuya, so let's head for the Inogami line first. Hmm. Part time job, huh? I'm pretty sure on cash. Maybe I should think about getting one too. But for now, let's go to Kichi Joji. No. I didn't realize I never signed up for the beef bowl shop job. Wait a minute. What's over here? <laughs> I might have something about my ramen in the newspaper tomorrow. No. Well, whatever. Hey. These stairs will take you to the Inagami line. This is the way to Kichi Joji. I'm getting excited. All right. So I wonder what happens if you don't have 200 at the end. Popular men and women of all ages, the streets are lined with shops. So this place is new to Royal. All right. You can now go to Kichi Joji. Now, we're heading to an area that's outside of where your commuter pass works. So make sure you've got the fare. I'm getting blood white. The school commuter train pass allows you to travel for free on two railway lines. Young and Jai to Shibuya, and Shibuya to Aoyama Ichome. You have to pay a fare to a travel outside of these areas, so make your travel plans accordingly. <sighs> Those two. Hey, Stalker, you want to join us? Oh. Oh, so this is Kichi Joji, huh? You can tell us nothing like Shibuya just from the atmosphere alone. Oh well, yeah, let's say there's a lot of shops here that you can't find in Shibuya. Not that I really know. Seems interesting. Right? Oh, it's got your attention now, huh? And not here. And Anna's not, uh, Anna's not here because she's busy, but I bet it'd be fun to come here with some uh, more people. I think the Darts Lounge is one block up from the main All street. Right. But since we're here, I won't say no to checking out a bunch of the other shops on the way. Right, because that's what I want to do. There's a lot of stuff we can do here, apparently. <laughs> you are the worst. Do, do you want to come play darts with us? Hey, Makoto, hi. Uh, um, hi, what a coincidence. Uh, um, uh, okay, you're welcome to come play darts with us. Whatever. Maybe it'll thaw you out a little bit. You're an icy bitch. Hi 
there. Hello, we do our best to provide information regarding this area. Hey. Why don't you ask them about Kichi Jochi? Any questions? I'd like to hear about. Uh I really don't do it through all this. What do you recommend? Well, then. I know just the thing. Please allow me to explain. You're a miner, correct? If that's the case, if you go past the drinking district and reach Rude Choo Choo? Chow Chow? Cho 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 Rude Cho Cho, I guess. You will. You will. F <laughs> Whatever. You will find a darts and billiards lounge. It's actually a very casual place, and people your age can walk in with no problem. How about. What about somewhere unique? Did you know? Oh, yes. One of the city's hidden gems is the temple in the promenade. It's even popular among young people who are looking for some guidance. Oh, maybe that doesn't include students like you? <laughs> if you're ever interested, you should check it out. Oh, was there anything else you wanted to hear about? No, nah, I'm, I'm, I'm good. Come again. Bye. Hey, did you hear that? All that Makoto? There's a bunch of shops here. Okay. Okay. What's in here? Stationery store. My Morgana sisters are telling me that this store sells a lot of stuff that suits my taste. What the hell are Morgana wow. senses? Well, let's take a look. Stationery? Hello and welcome. We have plenty of items you, you, here you can give to others. Welcome. Oh, gifts. Right. For the art enthusiast, huh? For when I want to butter up, uh, 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 Yusuke. The employee dude was saying something about how their stuff makes good gifts, yeah? <laughs> I guess it'd be pretty cool to get a gift from here. Did you hear that? Right. Where the fudge did she go? I lost my Makoto. Huh. Oh well. Whatever. Hmm? Mm. Hats only store, huh? They've got so many of them. How many heads could this store cover? I was full. I'm never gonna forgive him. Boy, there's all kinds of shit here. Holy crap! <sighs> hey, Ryuji, I found your house. Damn it! I just hit my elbow. Why is this place in such a small space? Come well, on, let's hurry over to that darts lounge. Her? Boy, this is incense shop, huh? Mm. <clears throat> An incense store, dude. I'm telling you, it seems freaking fishy. You got no interest, interest in incenses, right? Where would you even use it? In, in, in my room? Where the hell else would you use incense? We all a bunch of weirdos. Hello. Dude, this Nico Mon looks so much tastier than the ones at the convenience stores. It does. Hey, you guys want to get one? How about it? Hey, welcome. We're selling our hot and fresh Chinese buns here. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Little juicy meat. Uh, not worth it. I see. Napolitan Nicoman and Pepper Nicoman. Man, I wonder what they taste like. I'm totally going to eat it one of these days. Oh, hi. Did you want some Nickelman? Um. <laughs> I, I, I'm endlessly amused by her. Like, she she has a really dorky cuteness about her. Uh, oh. you guys sell anything special here? Mmm, placenta water. Delicious. Argonad, huh? Sure. Mm. Music here is so playful. Oh. Holy crap, look at the line. I think I saw the store on TV. Oh, the smell. Looks like their special meat cutlet is the most popular item. 
Sorry, we only have enough of the special meat color for the people in line right now. Try stopping by at night time. Uh... Okay. Well, I guess we can't do shit if it's this busy. But let's keep that in mind if we might be able to buy the special meat cutlet at night. Alright. Oh. Hey. Oh, dude. Check out the sign in the store. It says, bring your suity clothing here. Ah. Uh... Here is the store. Suity clothes. Hmm. Hey, let's see what they've got. Welcome. If you're looking to sell clothing... Wait. What's that? Can I take a look at that? Don't worry, I won't steal it. At the second hand shop, you can sell suity armor you own. Depending on what the suity armor was originally, it may fetch a decent price. For each clothing item you sell, you will obtain shop points, which can be traded for prizes at the shop. See if you can find something useful. Nice. This guy's reacting to clothing that we got from the shadows. Seems he knows what he's talking about. I've been here for 40 years, but I've never seen clothing that makes my heart chill. Alright, I'll buy it. But I'll only buy it for the price it deserves. So we have a point card system here. Each piece of clothing you sell here will give you 10 points. Once you obtain enough points, you can trade them in for a prize. So feel free to take, let's take that clothing off your hands. Hmm. Hmm. Not only is he going to buy them from us, he's going to give us points for them too. We should definitely come back here. So what can I get for you? Let's see the prizes. Uh... That's actually pretty cool. It's debilitate for all the foes. Clothing grab bag? What you get as a surprise? Well, okay. Auto Masuka, that's what we want. So we gotta sell 15, 15 pieces of clothing. So. Okay, sooty boots. Um, come in paint stain. That's the only. So everything else was from. Interesting. Hold on to that for now. Now we got some monies! So you sold 38 pieces of clothing. Hmm, that'll get you 380 points. And now you got 380 points. Anything else? I have to imagine that they're going to have more prices down the road. Because I don't want to blow everything yet. Let's buy the Edatin's belt. I'll buy this for an emergency. And I'll buy the crab bag. New sprays. Okay, gotcha. Thanks. Hey, hey. I always want to know what's inside this stuff. Let's take a look. Old mythical scar. Ooh, something for the cat. Hmm. Not too bad. Let's get this again sometime. Hope you like the stuff we had in the store. If you want more points, just sell the clothes you got. Anything else? Welcome. I guess you're not allowed to sell back the stuff that we just got. I guess we can get rid of that. Okay, well... 20 more points. <clears throat> okay, so we got the important thing. Well, that was kind of a weird store. <laughs> but I guess it was pretty fun. Let's check it out again sometime. Okay. Uh, on, you're going to be wearing this. Wait, where is it? There it is. There we go. Um, we need to put the SP adhesive back on you. There we go. Uh, 
go. And Yusuke will still wear the C's armband. And we're good. Hey, Mikado, you see my new belt? Huh? It's pretty cool. You want to see it? Hi. Um. I guess not. Anywho, uh, let's cut off the video for now. And then we'll start again in just a second. So, be right back.